once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. Or close up the wall with our English dead. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man like modest stillness and humility. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews. Summon up the blood. Exchange fair nature with hard favored rage. Then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head. Let the brass cannon, let the brow overwhelm it as fearfully as doth a galled rock, or hang and juddy his confounded base. Base swill it with the wild and wasteful ocean. Now set the teeth and set the nostrils wide. Hold hard the breath and gained up every spirit. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to his full height. Hold hard the breath, bend up every spirit to his full height. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to his full height. On. 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 On, you noble English, whose blood is fed from fathers of war peace. Like so many Alexanders, have in these parts been mourned till even fought, and sheathed their words for lack of argument. And you, good yeomen, whose limbs were made in England, show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you are worthy of your breeding, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble luster in your eyes. I see you. Stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start. The game's afoot. 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 Follow your, your spirit, spirit, and upon this charge, cry God, God for Harry, England, and St. George!